ME58 can be used by your buyers. Now the, uh, the sourcing expert has done his job. He has assigned the sourcing sources to the purchase acquisition. Now it comes to the buyers. Buyer responsibility is to initiate and make sure that the correct purchase order has been created. So he would be coming here and he would be seeing for a particular supplier, okay, for a particular supplier, uh, for a particular supplier in a particular plant, what are the different purchase acquisitions are there which i need to get generated okay if you now if you go follow that path of uh, me 51 n you created a purchase acquisition you went into me 21 n to create a purchase order that's a one by one approach right here basically you would be trying to understand from this particular vendor i have a five six purchase acquisition with five six different materials so rather than creating a five six purchase order Let's create a single purchase order, right? That kind of visibility you would be able to get it from here. So I'm putting 173001 here and 1710 here. And this is the explanation for transaction code ME58. That how the ME58 would be working. So I went into the ME58 and it is showing that not only this purchase requisition boss, we also have a this purchase requisition. We also have a this purchase requisition. Okay. And for all of them, source of supply has been assigned. This is a specific uh, category, TG10, third party. This is a third party scenario. The director uh, will discuss later on what this third party scenario would be doing. But I have these three purchase requisitions which need to get processed, okay? Which I want to process it ahead. So here you would be having a visibility that you are having these three purchase requisitions. For this vendor, you can select these three purchase requisitions you can select this vendor and you can click on create purchase order. Okay. So in a big company, there can be multiple uh, people who are working as a sourcing expert. They are assigning it. So they have may maybe in different 15, 20 purchase requisition, they have assigned this one vendor four times. So rather than creating a four purchase order for them, we can create a single purchase order. Okay. You create four purchase order. It will go for four times approvals. It will go here. You can combine the things. So when I click on this uh, icon, here its system would be giving me, okay, boss, this is a vendor. This is the open purchase requisition. Okay. This is a purchase order I have already created in today. Okay. So that you are not duplicating that also system is showing. Today for this vendor, we have already created this purchase order. So what I want this open purchase requisitions, I can select all of them and then I can drag and put it here drop here so you will see that three line items has been selected this is i just want to show you that how these three line items can be seen here our purchase requisition out of this is i think i think the third one one zero six four four but with that approach it is going with the same transaction same display you are getting it right you are going into the me 21 n but you are strategically uh, making sure that you are identifying in ME58 for a particular vendor, what are the assigned purchase requisition, where the supplier has been assigned and whether you should go ahead with the single purchase order creation or whether you can have a multiple purchase order creation. These all would be having a different schedule lines. This say that delivery date is 12th of June. This is 12th of July. This is 12th of October. So it would be having within a one sales order, three different line items three different schedule lines, which vendor need to supply on three different dates. Okay. And it can also be supplied to three different plants also. I think here the plant would be same, but there can be a purchase requisition. This is all plant one US, which can be supplied to different plants and different story location, the line item wise, that thing can differ, but it need to be with the single purchase, single buyer. Okay. Uh, buyer comes at the top, and the items come below. You cannot have a purchase order, single purchase order for two buyers. It's a legal document which, which can have a legal obligations. Okay, a single purchase order for a single buyer would be created. This is a functionality of ME58.